Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick Outlook tip of the day. Today's tip, we're going to talk about Comcast and IMAP. And I'll just let you know that Comcast is a free email uh, that you get when you generally have their cable service. And Comcast also has business email services, which honestly, I don't think I can highly recommend that. Uh, I've had a lot of problems with the business class email there. But uh, for the home users, they usually have pop accounts. And a couple of years ago, I believe, they started offering IMAP. Well, IMAP is a favorite because people want their phones to synchronize with their iPads and their computers and their tablets. Okay, so if you have your Comcast IMAP set up, um, it's pr pretty much easy to set up and just move your pop folders over. But the one thing that I want to alert you of is I had a client that I helped do a little migration from his pop to IMAP. But, you know, after the appointment, uh, some things changed and he uh, went through some struggles and he emailed me a little FYI and wanted, you know, to share with me. And I asked him if I could share this with you folks. So you're aware of it, too. Um, apparently, and this, like I said, was after the appointment. Um, and sometimes I don't know about things till the next day or whatever, because I have to see how things work for people. But he discovered that the change from POP3 to IMAP caused Comcast email to change the default settings on the webmail and correspondingly in Outlook to permanently delete, not move to trash mail from folders, including the inbox, within time frames as low as one day. Now, I'm sure he called Comcast to get that figured out because that to him was probably pretty serious. Where's my deleted? You know, people like keeping their deleted emails. You know, so if you go delete something, you want to go find it. Well, there are settings in Outlook that you can do to change that. And um, with each, you know, client I help, sometimes we have to do some testing because the settings for the IMAP uh, deleting of the trash and some of the other folders is a little different. Not everything's the same. So um, anyway, he wanted to share that with me. I want to share it with you folks that, yes, Comcast IMAP, apparently, if you don't change a setting, you delete the inbox email, it's going to be gone, gone, and that's permanent, which uh, he especially wanted to let me know that um, that if this was a business client, that they should be aware of this. And the thing is about Comcast email is there's still some businesses out there that use Comcast, you know, for their business account, like Comcast.net. But if you're using that for your business, you should probably upgrade to a business class email. He was not a business client, but uh, you should. You know, it's better for your brand and you're not promoting Comcast. And plus, you know, you can get on a business class service like Exchange and have full synchronizing for everything. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm Lisa. I'm Call That Girl. I'm a Microsoft Outlook expert. And if you need help with your Comcast IMAP or moving to Exchange or any other problems you're having, Feel free to call me, 612-865-4475, or you can email me, Lisa, at call that girl, like, excuse me, callthatgirl.biz. And if you've liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.